Greetings mortals, Brim the Barlow here. We're gonna be playing some more hardcore Minecraft here. Um, working on getting all of our lava taken care of. As you learned from the first episode, I don't mind unless I 100% know everything is okay. So, let's get the next iron pickaxe out and make sure everything's okay on this block. There we go. I know that this block is safe, so I mine it. And that's how we get obsidian. <laughs> and then I don't know about that spot, so we'll grab our lot, our water, break it, water, grab, and now we know that this block is safe. And then as long as I don't break the block that I'm standing on right now, this will be a safe block. Oh, it actually wasn't. All right. A torch. All right, so that block is a safe block. And that'll be our last block we're getting from this obsidian pile, and we can start working on our enchantments. And done. All right, now we can move on from out of here. So I'm working on the looting pickaxe and a silk touch pickaxe. Um, probably won't get to put unbreaking on it or anything like that but if we get lucky we get lucky um last episode didn't have an outro sadly um i hit the wrong button where i was doing manual pauses and i got excited that somebody was watching me that wasn't kyle <laughs> or bk so it happens but Let's go ahead and start working on this area here. So I don't want it to be super, kind of want it to be like, yeah, like two, well, I come down from this angle. So if this is like my middle spot, I'd want to break out one more wall. I don't know. Semi haphazardly planning how this room is going to look. Let's put a torch there and I put a torch there for now. And then. We would want to break this one. That puts our middle right here. And then I want to inset this like so. Yeah, I would find that. And blocked. Where we're underneath the swamp water here, it's going to be a little bit of a pain. All right, so there is our middle. And I should be able to put like two torches there to keep everything lit up nicely. And then don't want to go out one more because, yeah, I think... I think three blocks from the stairs is the best. And so we'll go back one more time here. But this is where we start getting pains of being near the water. As I kind of expected before breaking those blocks. 
And then that's about as far as I can take this backwards without just being annoying about it. So let's go ahead and get these ones done. Yeah. Okay. Let's go make our enchanting table. And whoop, like so. Uh, I, f I just need one book. <laughs> Me being dumb. Or it's two. What am I thinking? Good lord. I'm all over the place right now. And book. All right. So before I do this, I want to put wood down because this is going to be a wood floor at some point. Wait, hold up. It would be here, wouldn't it? Because the wall goes there and then I want all of that around it. So it goes something like that. And we'll just use a little bit more wood here. Like a temporary so we can see kind of what it looks like and dump it right there three one two three one two we can get up to fortune one with that nice not bad 16. uh we need more sugar cane so let's see if it's grown yet or not some has grown. Sleep a little bit. Throw some stuff into the blast furnace. Working fairly efficiently, I would say. And let's keep going. It might be time to farm some lily pads too, just so that it's easier to collect. Well, it would take a lot of lily pads though. Don't quite have that many lily pads. Fishies. Cause, okay, because it takes a second for it to fall down into the water and float back up. That's what it really comes down to. But yeah, we're going to need a lot more because I plan on filling up the uh, library with more than just what's needed. But we can make a few more real quick here. So, just like so. Oh yeah, we need to kill some cows too. So, all right, we need a whole bunch more leather. So we're gonna have to go out and do that first. So let's just dump some stuff off. Filter the blocks out. Keep a stack of wood. Bring my food. Get my gold out. Bring some coal and my bed. And then I feel pretty good about my the amount of paper I have right now. I feel okay at my wood but it would be probably advantageous for me to go ahead and get some more while i'm out since i have to go out and go ahead and eat some mutton and we'll just go ahead and grab some steak and we're gonna go get more steak more leather 
Let's go adventuring for a bit. Why not? Yeah, now's not a bad time to collect some lily pads either. And then that doing this slowly makes our uh, boating trips less bumpy and lets us pick up stuff later on too. See, I got a pretty good amount just from doing that right there. Let's head on over to the plains biome and see if we can find some cows. There we go. All right, cow time. I kind of wish I could, like, make lily pads. That would be kind of cool. Just because of the sheer amount of them that I'm going to end up needing. Oh, they kind of bob up and down. It's a little silly. All right, let's just go over here and start killing some cows. Um, you know what? Let's travel a little ways before we do that. Let's let's go find out about this area over here. It's just adventure. That's a good idea. This is a good adventuring episode. We don't necessarily... Hey, turtles. We don't necessarily have to... Uh, do anything fancy. It's funny that we stopped at the swamp because, like, how close we were to the actual ocean is kind of sad. I wish that, uh... I wish that we had, um... I guess just went a little ways further. But, go figure. I like our swamp, so I'm not too mad about it. I don't see any cows over there. Maybe we'll find like a buried treasure thing or something. That'd be kind of cool. Let's hit our video settings up to at least 20. Yeah, 20 for here. That lets us look around a little bit. I want to find, like, cows, first of all. That's important. Um, but it wouldn't be too bad to find a uh, sunken ship or something around here. Not a bad time to do that. And we found our planes biome. I don't think that's a sunken ship. Found our planes biome. Home is back that way. Always got to keep track of that. Some extra sugar cane. I'm not going to be super looking for sugar cane. But I can slowly over time if I need to. Not going to the dark forest. That's where enemies like to spawn. Lots of sheep. Look at all these sheep. You guys are getting it on over here. Good lord. It's like sheep land or something. Not too worried about getting lost. I'm pretty good at, you know, knowing where I'm at. Especially when I haven't left this biome, you know. I wonder if we can find, like any sort of generated structures because I can't really be sure of finding cows very quickly interesting geometric anomalies the algorithm is breaking apart but 
Don't see any cows out this way. Usually I'll spot cows in this, you know, spruce area here. Or birch, birch forest. Um, hmm. I guess it was just sheep territory this round. Go figure. We'll travel out somewhere else for a minute. Because I don't even want to consider looking at the uh, dark woods. I like birch because usually the trees are just high enough for you to go underneath. My real worry is getting lost um, on the ocean because I can get turned around pretty easy if I go deep ocean. So I probably won't stare too far away. Yeah, let's go look and see if that was a uh, ship first. No, nah, it just looks like a hill now. That little shape right there looked kind of like it was a boat. Let's head over to that biome. That way I still retrospectively know where I'm at. Give me a piece of mutton chop. So, over here, we have, there's some good sugar cane right here. Let's see if we can bap it from the boat. Mm, eh, not worth getting out except for, like, uh, cows and stuff. Yeah, um, not sure on the cows yet. We're going to have to start breeding some at some point, I think. We had gotten 23 earlier just from our travels. But I think it's going to take a little longer to get the rest. Is that a ship over there? Nah, that ain't a ship. I went by it twice. There's no way I would have missed it. Let's just keep on, uh, keep on keeping on. Yeah, I would have liked to have found maybe a pirate ship or something. I think there was a zombie temple thing over here. But, like... Fighting drowned right now doesn't sound like a good idea either. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not too interested in fighting drown. There's a pigu. If only pigs dropped leather. <laughs> Let's go keep going this way, I guess, for now. You know what? I'm going to pause the YouTube video for a bit, and we'll get we'll kind of search around, and if anything happens, I'll bring it up. All right, we have found a ship or some sort of new monument, possibly. So we are uh, going to check this thing out. Also, I see something else over there. Kind of funky. So let's just go down here and take a look at what we got going on in this spot. Oh, shoot. We got to find that door fairly quickly. Nothing special in there. Uh-oh. We got to go back up quick. All right. Oh, no, wait. I'm still used to the old bubble mechanic. Where even just a second is long enough. Of course, this would be all sorts of boarded up. I could 
I could go in from a different direction, right? Is that a thing? Um, yeah, let's just do what we were doing. Bob up and down a bit. Oh, shoot. All right, so we can break like one block go up, break one block go up, break one block go up type deal. I could almost get away f with two blocks if I allow a couple hits of damage. Hmm. All right, here we go. Not 100% sure where the door is. Oh, shoot, I messed that up. I don't see the door there, though. What the heck? That's weird. Usually there's a door. Let me go over here for a second and check out this spot again. Yeah, so... Let's open up this one this time, I guess. Okay, so we're we're definitely different. It hurts us. Hmm. What's going to be the easiest way to handle this? No, nah, that's a dumb idea. Let's pre-open open up these. And let's see what's on the sides here. I could have swore there was, like, uh, doors or whatever here. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna see in a second, I guess. What am I looking at right here? Well, I don't see doors. But I do hear a drowned somewhere. I do hear a drowned. Is that him down there? No? All right. Yeah, I hear a drowned. There he is. Please leave me alone. So there's definitely a chest in there. You know what? Yeah, come on. I have some cool ways of dealing with you because I have lily pads. You are very quick. Come on, Drown. Let's go. Me and you. Mono y mono. Yeah, all right. Let's break in through the top here. I think that's going to be our best bet. And that led to nothing. Shoot. Um, let's try over here. One of these leads to the hole, surely. Or am I looking at this wrong? No, surely not. Like... Is this the block I'm trying to break? I don't know. Shoot. Or is it just, is is the hole, like, is this filled up with water? Because if that's the case, holy crap, like, I'm going to have to, like, really know where this chest is type deal. Yeah, I'm guessing the chest is, like, right here. So I'm going to go down and break and try to get both of these done. There it is. I did it. I did the thing. Ha <laughs> ha. I need to do that in the future. This is the easiest way to go about it. Oh, I'm so glad I did this too. Nice. That's awesome. Good amounts of pretty much everything, but no treasure map. That was interesting. Let me get all my uh, 
lily pads back here real quick and then we'll go uh we'll go back to that other chest because there is only two chests i believe yeah i don't want any of the rotten stuff but we got to get out of here now please got a good amount of food from this though so that's pretty neat but it really sucks that there's not like i didn't get a treasure map from here okay back at it fish trying to jump into my boat let's go check out this like i guess above the water temple spot over here this seems cool i mean there could be some drowned over here I'm not going to uh, remove the idea of such a thing. This is a really easy one to get, though, I think. Curse of Vanishing Fishing Rod. That's a weird one. That's all that's here, right? Like, there's definitely nothing else at these places. Except Mossy Cobblestone, which I don't really want. Okay. Um, I guess they just didn't have a place to spawn over here. Is that one? Maybe. I just really want to, like, do a treasure map. Nothing wrong with that. All right, let's go look for cows again. Curse of Vanishing Fishing Rod. Pretty garbage enchantment on a fishing rod. And almost time to sleep. The sun is setting on me. Guess I'm going to pause YouTube one more time real quick here and come back when something else happens. Look at this. I found something I think is new. That is definitely a drowned over there guarding it, though. Drowned are just spawning near it. So we're going to park a ways off and like go up this little mountain and then take a look at what the heck this is i think drown are just like spawning next to it i think it's one of those drown temples again very interesting very very interesting so we're looking for the Oh, he thought he was just going to come up here and try to hit me, eh? So the chest is, like, buried underneath here. F Lure three! I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. I don't trust myself right now to stay right here like that. Hey, my guys. You guys look like you're uh, trying to defend something. But at the same time, like, you're doing a pretty poor job of it. Is there other chests that spawn with these things? Because this one looks different from the ones that we've usually dealt with. I don't feel like there'd be other chests. But I could be wrong. Hey, you guys want to fight? Look at you. Look at you. Come on. Come on. Whoop. Now you're not interested. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, now you're not interested. Oof. You guys suck. Yeah, now y'all are interested, aren't you? I'm just one block of water. Come on. You bunch of losers. Yeah, I don't think there's any other chests here. 
Man, I am lucky on some of this friggin' uh I got a lure three fishing rod right now. That's that's snazzy. I ain't mad about that. We still need a bunch of leather. That's where we're parked. It's a good place to like hang out and look around for a bit though. Cause it's a decent little forest. Look for cows. Don't see any though. I think we'll start heading home. I need to uh, still be on the lookout, but you know, we're going to start heading home. Hey, hey, I found a thing, interestingly. Way out here, but, you know, we can redeem ourselves with an iron pickaxe. Uh, assuming there's not anything that can kill me out here. And, uh, you know, hey, we found another mushroom, a little biome. That's kind of cool. We'll use lily pads to get out. I don't, it doesn't look like there's anything that can tackle me into the afterlife. So, this looks like it's just a free chest once again. There is lava and whatnot. But, uh, oh, I went. Whoa, okay, game. Don't do that to me. Let's look underneath it here. Kind of wonder if there's anything weird underneath it. Oh, the boat. The boat did that to me. Okay. Turtle. Uh, I'm breaking golden helmet. That's interesting. Efficiency five golden. Was that the turtle breathing? <laughs> okay, got all those, got all those. Yeah, it is the turtle breathing, I think. A fire charge. It's a weirdly specific item to get. I did bring my diamond pickaxe. We could mine out the thing over there. And we can also mine out... Yeah, let's do a little weird stuff. How you doing, buddy? Um, Let's throw some stuff away, since we're going to have other stuff to use. Spruce slabs, these, we can get rid of those. Curse of vanishing fish rod. Fishing rod can go vanish now. Um... The sand, I don't really need it. So much flint, I've already got flint. Um, Hang on to the wheat, hang on to all that. And we'll eat that mutton chop in a second. And then paper keep, all that other stuff is the keeps. We will use two different types of pickaxes pretty soon. So we we'll want to hold off on that. Because what I want is a few of these. And we'll just block off stuff. I don't know what this stuff is. I hope it doesn't kill me. I hope I can even mine it with a diamond pickaxe. Who is cutting onions? Crying. Oh, because it's... Okay. Crying obsidian. I got you. I get the joke. But yeah, now we can actually, like, you know, get some stuff. Alright, there is quite a few. Of these that I can get. That does not break as fast as I thought it was going to. Uh, whoop, here we are. Um, we want to block up as much of this as we can. I don't think there's much lava here, like in general. Yeah. There we go. We did good on getting those. Nice. Very nice. Okay, Crying Obsidian. 
is a weird item, first of all. But let's get it. Hopefully standing underneath it's okay, because I don't know anything about this block. <laughs> One. I really, I really don't know anything about this block. <laughs> like... It looks cool. I'm curious if I can use it as a portal, but I'm just gonna mine it because it's new and I'm interested in it more than anything else. I think there's... That is some weird noise. Um, There's one more piece underneath this. Okay, so we wanna get up there now. Um. Here's how I'm going to handle that. Yep, that looks good. And then I do a little hip hop there. And then break this. Break another one of these. But this time we're going to drop it. And now we get the, the gold that we should have had last time. But I was a doof. All right. That's a pretty successful little venture right there, I think. Anything else underneath here? Like, so I could get more if I mined out a lot of this. But I don't think that's a good idea. I'm not going to mess with it like that. I think 16 is good enough because I can make little water spout things with that. And be okay with it. Get my lily pads back and get into my boat. Swap this out for food. And now the question is, which way I came from? Pretty sure it was this way. Yeah, because there's the swamp. Yay! So I'm going to pause again, head over to the swamp biome, and see what's over there. So, we found a village. That's pretty awesome. How much are we going to steal from these guys? Hey, cows, that's the most important thing. Now that we're later in and we have a stack of beef and we're about to get more cows, like, it doesn't really matter what I take from this village. My, I'm past the starting out phase at the very least. So, I'm going to take whatever I can from these guys. There we go. They scream no as I kill them. I mean moo. <laughs> bok, bok, bok. Bok, 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 bok. This is like a little tiny biome of a... Uh... <laughs> Swamp biome. I'm going to sleep with you, chicken. Are you cool with that? There are multiple chickens sitting here. Look at you two. I'll uh, sleep with these chicken. Come on. It's going to take a little while, but we'll be able to here in a second. Let's see. Don't think there's going to be anything else, like, close, close by for me to get. If we come in from right here, I can remind myself to go that way to get back out. But we've got some more leather, at least. So, that put me in the hole. Thank you, chickens, for guarding me. Chickens are all powerful Minecraft deities that um, protect players from all harm if you sleep next to them. That is not accurate as far as mechanics go, but it is as far as my feelings go. All right. Let's head over to this village. This is cool. Pretty excited about this. A little worried about a bunch of potholes. Because these villages seem to be like built over canyons and junk anymore. Apples, not bad. Gold nugget, decent. Don't want the beds. I'm okay with beds right now. Why would you build your stuff over caves constantly? Come on, guys. 
bed. I'm gonna leave that door open to signify I've checked these two houses. Oh well, this door is just already open. More bread. Didn't already have bread, sadly. Poppy, Poppy Harlow. This is insanity. Ow, that was dumb. It could have legitimately been a creeper right there and I might have died. Hey, we got bookshelves. We can get some free books right here. This is a big, big deal right here. So these still do spawn. I was a little worried about these not spawning. Oh, 12 books. Super big. I want one of these. That'd be kind of cool. Um, Gravel can go. And I'll take this. I got rid of your job. Ha <laughs> ha. I laugh at the villagers. Because I am a bully. I'm a villager bully. Okay, I checked both of those. I checked that. I checked the floating house. Checked this one. Let's check around this direction next, I guess. Just keep circling. Saw something off in the distance. Man, there's a lot of like, just holes. Holes leading to falls that may or may not kill me. They probably won't, but knowing my luck, they probably will. Let's go ahead and grab this. What are we dropping? Probably wheat if I don't have a better option. Flour. Because this is a whole bunch of bread right here. And like I said, I'm past the early game worrying about food. I've got a whole stack of beef at home, so I'm gen like I've I think I brought a stack of beef with me, didn't I? Yeah. So we're not worried about food. So low saturation food is honestly just gonna take up a inventory slot. These are weird, weird houses, man. Like I, I genuinely don't really like their houses. Oh, can I? Beds are bouncy. Beds are bouncy. Look at that. Beds are bouncy. Bouncy beds. That's cool. I did not know beds were bouncy now. Yeah, that's cool. All right, we checked all those. We've checked all those. We could get some crops going because we don't have potatoes. Potatoes is a big deal, too. We need potatoes. Um... What do we get rid of to get potatoes? The carrots aren't as useful. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering about fall damage on beds as well. I know slime blocks can, or yeah, slime blocks can straight up just remove fall damage. Give me a potato. Nope, that's not a potato. That's not a potato. That's not a potato. That's not, nope, nope. There's a potato. Go away. Potatoes, give me potatoes. Screw all of your crops. I need all of your potatoes. They're trying to get them back up from me so that they don't lose them. Meanwhile, I just removed all of them. <laughs> Steal the potatoes. How many did I end up with? Eight? That's a good, good little medium farm of potatoes I can build when I get back home. Which I do need to make sure I can get back to home. All right. Plenty of wheat for bread. There's an iron golem. Plenty of bread. Plenty of potatoes. And plenty of apples. Nice. Not a bad little find, but, you know, they could have had a, like... Armor or chest worth of nice stuff. Or a brewing stand or, you know. Well, I got a brewing stand. No, I don't. I, I can't remember if I have a brewing stand in this life or not. Hmm. Shoot. Can't remember if that was my other death or not. Um, hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, I've pretty well checked everything. This hut just feels like I didn't check it properly. I don't know why. Okay, well. That's it for this village. Um, I can head over to my boat and start heading home or I can uh, start looking around here for uh, cows. I think looking for cows is a good idea. Well, no, wait, I just got 12 books. That's like four more bookcases. And I've got six leather, so that's another that's another six bookcase bookcases just right there. I think the math checks out. No, no, three books each. Yeah, that's two. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So three for one book. So yeah, it makes two. So yeah, we should be good on bookcases. So I could start heading back home, I think. I could be wrong. There's definitely a cave nearby. I hear a bat. I have definitely explored the crap out of this world at this point, though. And I will rate this world pretty meh. Because I feel like I would have found... It's weird that path is down here. Um, I feel like I would have found a desert and a desert temple at some point. Because I would like to get the TNT from that. Um, instead of having to make a mob farm to get gunpowder to make, you know. Which I want to make a mob farm. Don't get me wrong. <sighs> I don't know. Alright, in the next episode we'll be back home. And um, we'll probably plant our potatoes and finish our library and finish our area of the house that needs wood and that kind of stuff in the next episode so thank you guys for watching on youtube stay tuned for more